Good morning. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass on this Monday in the sixth week of Easter. This morning's Mass intention is for Paul Kortz, requested by Carolyn Roselle. Let us begin with the entrance antiphon. Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you went to see for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the Paschal observances through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. We set sail from Troas, making a straight run for Samothrace, and on the next day to Neopolis, and from there to Philippi, a leading city in the district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate along the river where we thought there would be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with the women who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Thyatria, a worshiper of God, listened. And the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. <clears throat> After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed upon us. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> the Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The spirit of truth will testify to me, says the Lord, and you also will testify. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. And you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that when their hour comes, you, remem you will remember that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. The sixth week of this Paschal season that we are going through is bringing a message of unity in the church, unity of believers, unity of beliefs. Jesus came into the world, not only to proclaim the good news, the salvation, but as well he came to unify believers in one faith, in one call, the call from the beginnings, from the very beginnings, a call to be one family brothers and sisters under one God, creator of heaven and earth. And today, the gospel continues molding that idea and reaffirming that teaching that the Catholic Church continues to pass on to new generations. One big family in the eyes of God, we are all sons and daughters, equal to him. We may not have the same type of blood, we may not be brothers and sisters by blood, but we are by faith, by beliefs. And if we do not make enough efforts to treat each other and to treat the other one as such, then we are not becoming good sons and daughters of God. And that's what Jesus came to the world to teach all of us, to leave our differences behind, aside, to change our mindset and to think about more deeply on love. Yesterday, the teaching was love one another and he gave us two different ways of loving one another agape and philia two loves according to the greeks one in relation to the love of god the love that we are invited to reflect and to work on to be holy people and the love philia the love of friendship and Jesus said there is no greater love than that one 
who give one's life for his friends. So these two love we are invited by the gospel to make part of our daily life because we cannot love God and mistreat our brothers and sisters. We cannot say, I love God, but I don't love my brothers and sisters. Even though he's a very tough person to love. So we are invited today, my brothers and sisters, to add, to pray, to live like one big family. And that's how Jesus is encouraging all of us to change the mindset of the society. You are going to be known as my disciples, he said, because the way you love each other. Let us entail that with our own very self and let us become part of that mandate of Jesus Christ by loving God and loving our neighbor in the same way Jesus did to us. Amen. Aware that God never abandons us, let us bring the needs of our community to the Lord. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may the outpouring of the Spirit strengthen and embolden him in his witness to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of all nations, may the Lord who erases all divisions guide their efforts in working for peace throughout the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For refugees, may God protect and uphold them as they seek security and a home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community gathered, may our relationships with one another be strengthened through the grace of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, marked with the sign of faith, May God's mercy bring them swiftly to eternal peace and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray a special intention for Freddie Ochoa. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now we pray these special intentions that we keep in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May Almighty God, we thank you for listening to our prayers and for making of us part of your family, your sons and daughters, always through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O oh Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. By sending down your Spirit upon them, let the doful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints and martyrs who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray as one big family in God's hands. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. To him the power and the glory of your Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. The communion antiphon. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament, and I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were always there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal happiness may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we pray to St. Michael, the Archangel. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who run throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, pray for us. And we pray to our patron, St. Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Saint Joseph, our patron, pray for us. Saint Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. All holy men, women, and martyrs, pray for us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Everybody have a wonderful rest of the day.